Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 21st of January. I am James Spann. A cold shot coming in here tonight. Going to be pretty cold for a brief time. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network. These were captured at the somewhat insane hour of 5 a.m. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam looking down on Greensboro Avenue. It's clear and cold. Readings around freezing. There's a look at the Clanton Skycam. The Clanton City Hall down in Chilton County and up in northwest Alabama. A look at the Fayette county courthouse upper trough carving out over the east that's pulling down some really cold air up north and we'll feel a taste of that tonight and tomorrow this morning temperatures pretty much where they should be for mid-january the cold spot fort Payne, they've got 28 birmingham at 35 but around the nation goodness uh, international falls minnesota early this morning Checks in at 22 below zero. The wind chill index up there is 44 below zero. Ouch. We've got wind chill warnings and advisories up that way. The upper Midwest around the Great Lakes, uh, Chicago, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Des Moines. I mean, it's tough up there. And thank goodness we're not going to catch the brunt of that, but it will be very cold here tomorrow morning. Rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning. This is suggesting rain of amounts of about one-half inch to three-quarters of an inch over the northern part of the state, and that will come on Friday. And we will explore that here as we go along. This is the 06 ZGFS, valid at noon today. And thank goodness the amplitude is not that great. You can see how the the, the trough is not that deep over the east. That's going to kind of spare us from the worst of this cold air. Uh, there's a look at the surface chart. You can see those extremely low thickness values up north. I mean, they, they won't even get close to zero today over uh, parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. But around here, we should see uh, low to mid 50s. And again, that is exactly average for this time of the year. Tomorrow, it's going to be cold to start the day. Uh, the GFS is at 23, and that's pretty reasonable. We'll still have kind of a breeze blowing, so it's going to feel like 18 or 19 tomorrow morning. And during the day tomorrow, not a cloud in the sky, but it will be a cold day with a high in the 40s. Uh, The NAM is at 44. The GFS is at 48. But we warm up pretty quickly on uh, Wednesday as the cold air begins to retreat. Now, Wednesday morning will be cold. We'll be well down in the 20s again. But the uh, high Wednesday should be back in the 50s. And on Thursday, we'll warm up nicely. In fact, we could be flirting with 60 on Thursday afternoon. So that's why... It's a quick-hitting cold shot. And then on uh, Friday, at the end of the week, this end-of-the-week system is uh, clearly going to bring us some rain, but the timing and the amount and some other details remain in question. Uh, You've got this uh, strong upper load that's over Minnesota, and down below that, uh, rain breaks out over the Mid-South during the day with a chance of rain here by Friday afternoon. Uh, And if this is right, Friday could be fairly mild with a high in the 60s but we have seen other runs that bring in the rain on the back side of the surface front and it's like in the 40s i mean we've got a 40 degree swing in temperatures here on friday but this is suggesting friday would be mild uh this is friday night at midnight the rain is coming through nothing really heavy uh this would really recommend a quarter inch or less if this is right and then saturday as we start the weekend it's just not that cold we have seen other runs that are much colder than this, but this would suggest a high only of about you know 50. And, but the European remains much colder. This is Saturday evening coming off the European, and it's suggesting we clearly won't make it out of the uh, uh, 40s on Saturday. In fact, uh, northeast Alabama, if this is right, would not make it out of the 30s. So again, we'll have to fine-tune that as it gets close. And then uh, Sunday, we warm up as a southerly breeze kicks in. And the weekend should be... Uh, uh, partly sunny both days. Go to Monday of next week. Rain breaks out just to the west. And this is Tuesday. Boy, look at this now. This is a week from tomorrow, January 29th. Look at the blizzard over uh, the Colorado and, and Nebraska. That's a 988 millibar low that's over Kansas. I mean, that is a nasty-looking blizzard out there. And around here, we're in the warm sector. And uh, rain and storms break out. And, you know, for... for 
a while back, uh, you know, last week, the GFS has suggested we might be in the cold sector here with a chance of winter weather mischief. Well, obviously, that's not happening here. The winter weather mischief is going to be over Nebraska and, you know, the Dakotas and Minnesota and Colorado here. Uh, in fact, we'd have to look out for strong storms if this is right. Uh, this is uh, a few hours later, six hours later, a big, deep upper low that's over Missouri. Uh, strong storms. This is Tuesday night of next week. That surface low is north of St. Louis. Again, very deep, 984 millibars, and that is a massive blizzard for Des Moines and Omaha and uh, just south of Minneapolis up into uh, Wisconsin. And uh, this might bring Chicago the snow they've been wanting, wanting, if this is right. And again, down here, we'd have to watch out for strong storms. And then on uh, the 31st, this is uh, Thursday of next week, big trough over the east, and it turns really cold if this is right. But, hey, this is out in the land of voodoo. End of the forecast, speaking of voodoo land, how about a voodoo land snowstorm for, for Alabama? And uh, not, not the Tennessee Valley, but central and south Alabama. But we all know that will probably disappear the next time we see a new run. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good like Eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas is not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's about relationships. relationships. I know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that. Yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with a with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car, but don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. It ain't right. Hey, I know a few <laughs> of those folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview Matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things. Last couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, oh, it's yeah. heated up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it would be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. And the plane goes right through the bridge and doesn't catch on fire. It's tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.